The Neomorph is a variant form of the Xenomorph creature which will be seen in the upcoming Alien Covenant. So what makes these creatures different from the Xenomorph creatures we've seen before? Aesthetically speaking, the Neomorphs are similar beings to the Deacon Alien, as seen briefly in the end of Prometheus, which was in part an offspring of engineered DNA, and they appear to be much larger and paler, or at least with more translucent skin, and their cycle suggests that at full growth, the creatures begin to walk erect as opposed to crawling, as we've seen with other Xenomorphs though it is described to be animal-like in behavior, complete with fangs and protruding spikes from its back. It's very likely to have the same patented, snarling, hissing characteristics that are so well known to come from these aliens in this universe. As far as from what we've seen from the concept art so far, another unique characteristic of the Neomorph is its apparent lack of a tail. While not much is known of the creature so far, according to an interview given by Michael Fassbender, who of course portrays the android David, these aliens are somewhat indigenous to the planet being surveyed by the crew of the Covenant, yet to be named, and their growth and mutation can be attributed in origin to the Black Goo seen in Prometheus, which seems to have developed pods in this ecosystem which emits an infectious spore when disturbed as we've seen from a moment in the trailer, where one is rustled by the knock of a surveyor's boot, making its way into his ear, likely leading to the infection and backbursting, as we've also seen in the trailer. And it's highly theorized at this point, the alien being born through this backbursting is, in fact, a Neomorph. At a closer look, it's also believed that the Neomorph has been seen very, very briefly and obscurely in the trailer, as this may be the creature being held off with a firearm by one of the crew members. It's clear from the concept art that we'll be seeing at least some of these Neomorphs in Alien Covenant, but exactly how much remains to be known. Is it possible the Neomorph is a superior organism to the Xenomorph? Is it possible this version of the creature will emerge to be the higher threat to the human characters? Which creature are you more excited to see, the classic, known, and loved Xenomorph? Or are you looking forward to seeing something new in the Neomorph? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more theories on the upcoming Alien Covenant film, as well as theories and explanations surrounding the other Alien films. And if there's an Alien Universe topic you'd like to see covered on this channel, please comment below and let me know. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.